are really bombarded with research, ano? At their level, meron na kagad sila ang practical research 1 and 2. Tapos pagka college pa sila, meron pa sila ulit research. So, iyon na talaga yung direction natin nowadays, eh, no? Which is to um, be research-driven and um, up, uh, apply research in all aspects, ano? Kahit kami at our level, so may mga edad na nagtatrabaho, but we are obliged to do research every year, no? Kaya nga, ang school meron tayong campus research development unit, ano? Which I serve as uh, the head, okay? So kahit yung mga teachers nyo, lahat sila uh, obliged mag-research. Ito nga ngayon si... Um, um, Si Ma'am Ordonez, ano, meron siyang sariling research na ginagawa and ako yung naglalakad ng papel niya no, sa main campus. So, that's just one example. Si Doc Campos din, meron din siyang research kahapon. Um, um, I have requested them to go to main campus no, kasi they would get the funding for their research. No. So, what I'm trying to say is even at our age, at our level, talagang kailangan namin panindigan yung sinasabi namin, ano, parang walk the talk and do our own research. Ano. So, hindi lang kayo, students, but uh, also the faculty, and uh, in any aspect of um, work, no, pagka nagtrabaho na kayo, you will go to certain companies, maybe government agencies, Lahat yun may research, to, to be quite honest, and hindi siya nawawala. No, sa marketing, may marketing research. Sa finance, meron din. Mas lalo na pag government agency, no, economic um, economic research of some sorts. No? So later on, I'll show you some of the things na pwede ninyong pag-aralan, specifically under economics, ano. But then again, just a refresher, since uh, it has been already four years since you took your last research, you know, uh, practical research one and two. So let's define what research is all about. Okay, so research in general refers to a search for knowledge. No, sa amin nga sinasabi to add to the pool of knowledge. No, para makapag-contribute, makadagdag ng ambag doon sa existing body of knowledge okay it means that research is an attempt to discover intellectual and practical answers to the various problems through the application of scientific methods okay to the knowable universe in fact research is an art of scientific investigation so um ito, no? uh, i couldn't have written a very good description about research but this is true to discover intellectual and practical answers. So, lahat naman na nakikita natin ngayon, ano, it is born out of research. Eh. The things that we are enjoying today, technology, communication, transportation, yan, we are facing a pandemic, no? Yang vaccine na yan is also born out of research, okay? Diba? Countries are racing uh, in getting the best um vaccine last time nga uh, when when i read some news ano the ang gusto nilang gawin is magkaroon ng parang nasal spray no that would protect you from getting uh the coronavirus so imagine ano pag dumating na tayo sa ganong point mas malapit-lapit na sa katotohanan na makakalabas na talaga lahat okay uh, and there's there's this one study that, that I have read also no, last year. Um projection nila is that it will take 10 years now from 2020 bago tayo makabalik sa pre-pandemic condition na everybody can walk without face mask, without face shields. Um, and yung uh, cure or maybe prevention for coronavirus can be purchased in ano lang drug stores no yung over the counter medicine na lang siya so ang projection nila is that it will take 10 years ano bago tayo makabalik sa ganun although 
uh, tingin ko naman it's getting closer no, than the projection kasi if you would look at other countries takakalabas na talaga sila walang face mask tayo nga lang ang country na nag face shield di ba uh, so it is achievable no? and it's realistic okay it just depends on um yung resources saka access to um healthcare no so so ayun so lahat yan ay mga breakthroughs na yan all of these things uh we get to enjoy because of research okay scientific in, uh, investigation and um research is also defined by uh, several um, bodies or uh, dictionaries this way ano So, careful and critical inquiry of examination in seeking facts or principles. Diligent investigation in order to ascertain something. So, sabi nga natin, ano, critical thinking. Okay. So, Webster's Dictionary. No? Careful critical inquiry. Uh, I think uh, this term is more important today than it was in the past years, ano? yung pagkakaroon ng critical thinking. Okay? Kasi we are bombarded with information and uh, anybody just, you know, takes anything they see. It's as if it's truth kahit na wala pa siyang ginagawang sarili niyang investigation. Ano? Kaya nga maraming nabibiktima yung nagsishare ng mga fake news. Ano? Walang validation. Kasi... Um, na nag uh, ano na eh kumbaga yung tao parang automatic na lang no by habit o oh, share 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 ganun without validation whatever i perceive as truth i share okay so yan ang ano eh no yan ang dapat makorek sa atin lalo na we are studying research nagre-research tayo no advanced learner's dictionary na a careful investigation or inquiry okay so careful investigation inquiry no Okay lang magtanong ano to be quite honest no. Yan ang magandang uh, the things that we enjoy in a democracy is the ability to question things. Okay? Kasi you can read the history books and pag-aralan yung mga nakara uh, mga nakaraan ano. Any um form of uh, society where questioning is um prohibited delikado yon ano kasi subjected to la, sila to a ruling of someone who just dictates everything okay kaya walang masama eh pag magtatanong ano walang masama kung mag-clarify in fact sabi nga no uh, questions are answers okay if you ask a question you're just trying to find out an answer wala namang problema doon eh no so ganyan din ang uh, research no you, there is an inquiry okay Encyclopedia of Social Sciences, the manipulation of things, concepts, or symbols for the purpose of generalizing to extend, correct, or verify knowledge. Whether that knowledge aids in construction of theory or in the practice of an art. Okay? So, mas mahaba yung defini- definition ni uh, Encyclopedia of Social Sciences. Ano? So, concepts, symbols, no? kasi... Uh, it's not just purely text. No? There could be symbols. There could be things that are um, intangible, no? like human behavior, things that you can just simply put in words. No? Kaya nga merong research through observation, research through experiment. Okay? So, yan, mga bagay na yan. Ano? Uh, and it becomes overall seemingly uh, a form of art. Uh, research is an art. Okay. So, ito, ilan lang sa mga common definitions ng research. And again, our goal is just to uh, refresh everyone kasi uh, it's been a while since you took your your research. No? So, ang, uh, social, uh, what we are doing here is that we are comparing social science and uh, physical sciences. No? Kasi um, sa kahit ano namang research, there is what you call um, scope and delimitation. Ano? Meron siyang hangganan. Okay? 
hindi pa pwedeng yung research mo, it covers everything. Okay? And um, very important yung um, stipulation or clearly defining what are the boundaries and limitations of your certain studies. No? So just to go over quickly some of the differences no? uh, between social science and physical science. Okay? Kasi di ba ang economics is a form of a social science. No? And that is why we are defining the limitations. Para alam natin, no? so we, when we perform our own, we know an, ano, yung, ano ba yung boundaries natin hanggang saan ba yung hanggana natin. No? So, uh, when, you call, uh, when you talk of nature, no? social science is human behavior, and then physical science is laws of nature. So, siguro I wouldn't go through all of this, ano, kasi yan, nakalagay naman na dyan. Ano. Some of them na lang. Fundamentals, social science, um, are phys uh, phys psychologically are related. Basic elements of physical sciences have a physical relation. Okay. So, basically, there is a difference between the two, no? Pag uh, method of, ang methodology of study, deductive, okay? Kapag ka physical science naman, inductive. Kapag sinabi mo kasing deductive reasoning, nag, uh, deductive methodology, nag-narrow down ka eh. No? Whereas sa physical science, pwede ka magdagdag ng magdagdag. No? Pag deduce, para kang may funnel, ano, you start with a larger concept, tapos na nanaro siya pababa no parang embudo paliit ng paliit no hanggang makarating ka dun sa point na hinahanap mo okay yung fundamentals niya yan basic elements man mental state and behavior pag physical science naman elements are ruled by natural laws pa rin ano natural physical science so on and so forth Social science measurability, lesser scope, no? For measurement of subject matter. Pagka physical science naman, there is greater possibility of measurement in study of physical phenomena. Okay. There are certain in my uh, standard micro units of measurement. Okay. So bottom line is that um when we do our research, no, we will follow yung limitations ng social sciences. Ano? Kasi doon tayo nakabilang. No? Doon nakabilang yung economic research. Okay? So, yan. So, now, uh, let's talk about the significance of economic research. So, bakit siya kailangan? Ano? Apart from us knowing already na talagang very important yan. Ano? Kasi states government run ano through the the whole um idea of economics no diba from putting it to the microeconomic level no household and then going macroeconomics the entire uh, government system ano of a nation or a country no so uh, here bakit ba important na pag-aralan ito no so the developing countries have urgent problems such as yan, poverty, unemployment, economic imbalance, no, economic inequality, low productivity, etc. So people will say, eh, sir, matagal ng problem yan. No? Hindi naman nawawala yan. Eh. Hanggat may tao sa mundo, may poverty, may unemployment, okay? uh, may economic imbalance. No? Kaya nga ano eh, sabi ni Thanos patay na yung kalahati ng ano eh, no, ng population para mawala yung poverty so we can all have equal footing no enjoy the resources that are available okay <laughs> pero since dahil nga ito ay everlasting problem that means that we have to look for um answers eternally as well ano hindi tayo dapat huminto dapat siyang patuloy na hanapan ng hanapan ng solusyon. In fact, no, last time, meron akong na, napanood na documentary. Um, sa BBC yun eh. No? Yung race for the trillionaire. No? Ang topic niya is about, par the topic itself is parang finance. Ano? Kasi the title is about 
racing to becoming a trillionaire. ba? Diba, ang mga pinakamayayaman sa mundo ngayon ay mga billionaires. No? So who is going to be the first trillionaire? Ang sabi doon, whoever is going to be the first person or first company or first country who will be able to mine resources in space. No? Kung sino yung tao or um, institution na kayang mag-mine ng resources sa ibang planeta, yun yung kauna-unahang mga magiging trillionaire. No? And bakit na tayo lumalabas sa Earth? <laughs> bakit bakit natin naiisip yung mga ganong ideas? It's because um, these problems na na-mention ko are eternal. Eh. Talagang dere-derecho yan. Ano, hindi mawawala yan. No? And, and, Palaki lang ng palaki, to be quite honest. Dahil mas malaki ang population, mas malaki ang problem. And in fact, yung nangyayari sa atin ngayon, ano, yung pandemic, is brought upon by overpopulation. Ano, dahil ang dami ng tao sa mundo. Okay? Kaya nga sabi nila, eh, ang mundo daw, kapag uh, punong-puno na, kakalusin niya rin yung sarili niya. No? Sa iba't ibang paraan, it could be yan, through diseases, It could be through wars, it could be through famines because of uh, yan, lack of resources, etc. No? Or yung tinatawag natin na environmental uh, climate change. No? So, yan. Kailangan talaga natin mag-research dahil itong mga problema na to hindi ito mawawala. Eh, no? So we really have to continuously find ways. At yun na nga, nakarating na tayo sa panahon na naiisip na ng tao magmina ng resources sa ibang planeta para lang mapunan yung mga pagkukulang dito. No? They are actually thinking of producing water in um, moon. Ang balak nilang gawin, babaklasin nila dito kasi diba, hydrogen, oxygen, nagiging H2O yun, ano? So para madala mo siya doon, no, kailangan i-breakdown mo siya and doon mo siya i-assemble ulit no, para maging H2O siya. Okay? So, ayan. Facts discovered through research are systematized and leads to the development of knowledge. Now, for example, studies on poverty have led to development of theoretical concepts. No? Dahil daw sa research, no, sa economics, na-enjoy natin yung mga bagay na pinag-aaralan natin ngayon. Like yan, poverty line, ano may mga concept na yan no, na nagawa nila. Income inequality, measures of inequality, lahat ng mga concepts na pinag-aaralan natin sa economics ngayon are born out of researches. No? Um, theoretical discussions on problems, more equitable distribution of income. So yan, difference between economic growth and development. And so on. So, yan. No? Dahil yan sa economic research. Okay? Kasi kung uh, walang uh, equal, dis- kung walang governments, no, and equal distribution of income, let's say, babalik tayo dun sa olden days na merong hari, no, tas nasa kanya lang lahat ng resources, tas yung mga tao niya may hirap. Parang kingdom, ano? <laughs> Baka maging zombies yung mga tao, no, ano, pag gano. So, Um, it's it is oh, we should be thankful na meron na, tayo, na we are living in this era na mas civilized yung mga tao at mayroon ng mga ganitong sistema no so, hundreds of years ago wala pa namang SSS walang GSIS no wala yung mga mga ganyang sistema eh so pagka nagretire ka bahala ka wala kang pera no pag nagkasakit ka o oh, saan ka manghihingi ng ano ng uh, tulong Eh ngayon, hindi. Meron ng ganyan eh. Kung baga habang bata ka, you're being prepared para pag uh, matanda ka na, no, you will have the resources at least no, to be able to uh, face no, yung mga inevitable when you grow old. Okay? Economic system yun. Ano? Economic research equips the society with the first-hand knowledge about uh, organization and working of the economy and economic institution. gives economies a greater power of control and insight over economic phenomena. Kaya yan, yung mga presidents, mga senators, no, yung mga nag administrate sa atin, of course, hindi naman sila malalagay dyan, ano, unless, uh, I don't want to um, 
go on a debate about this ano pero kaya important yung credentials eh no? kasi para kang naglalaro ng ano eh para kang naglalaro ng monopoly no on a larger scale ano kailangan yung mga resources ng tao yeah, uh, well planned ano yung gagawin natin yung gagawin niya nagkaroon ng uh, pandemic situation ano yung pangharap natin what is our first line of defense so on and so forth no so um it's really important no, for them to have this um, economic uh, knowledge para uh, when they control ano mas mas uh, organized at mas madali no for for everyone okay research also aims at finding an order among facts no so there are facts marami uh, ang role ng research is to arrange it okay kumbaga parang inorganize mo siya in such a way na magkakatugma-tugma Okay, kaya nga 'di ba sa research meron tayong review of related literature. In chapter 1 you start with the history, no, the introduction. And then you lay out your um skeleton which is yung conceptual framework, theoretical framework, what are the problems, no? So, yan. So such predictions are useful in economic planning. Predictions about population growth and consequent requirements of this population growth in number of educated people uh, and unemployed requirements of power of energy in different productive sectors of the economy. So yeah. So there are facts you organize them, no, and uh, put it in one presentation, okay? One meaningful presentation. So planning for socio-economic development calls for baseline data on the various aspects of our economy. So yan yung baseline data na yan, ano? Yung mga pag-aaral, kinakandak yan ng ano eh, surveying bodies like um, PSA o di kaya SWS, no? Depende, no? Kung anong klaseng data yung kailangan mo. And then yung data na yun, you will use in order for you to make decisions, no? Important decisions. Okay. Yeah, for uh ilagay natin sa example, bakit ba nito nakaraan parang atras abante tayo, biglang mag GGCQ, biglang mag MECQ, uh extend yung MECQ, okay na pala mag GCQ na ulit tayo. San ba na, san ba nila nakukuha yung um data to support their decision? Syempre nang gagaling yan sa numbers, o nang gagaling yan sa those who are in the ground getting the information. So yung mga hospitals natin, yung mga doctors, frontliners, sila yung nagse-serve as the surveyors, ano? Kasi kinukuha nila yung data every day, tapos nire-report, tapos meron tayong tally by the end of the day. Okay, sumampa na tayo sa 1 uh, 15,000 may, na ang merong COVID, etc. Dahil diyan, patuloy yung pagtaas, no? They're looking at the trends. Okay, mag-MECQ muna tayo. Mga ganoon, ano? So, you need at least a baseline data, okay? So you can plan. Um, economic research suggests various areas where remedial measures are required for improving socioeconomic welfare. So yeah. So more or less, I you know by this time, and I'm sure you are already um, knowledgeable. No, alam naman natin na kailangan talaga ng research. No, there's no debate on it. Okay. So ngayon, tingnan naman natin yung types of research, okay? Marami kasi yan eh, malawak yan, ano? Iba't iba rin ang serve, uh, iba't ibang purpose ang kanyang sineserve at iba-iba rin yung mga methodologies, no? So meron tayong tinatawag na pure research, no? From the term itself, pure. Puro, no? Fundamental or theoretical research, original or basic in character. So ito Research is undertaken for the sake of knowledge. No? Kung baga kahit wala kang structure na ginawan mo pa ng chapters 1 to 5, no? kinuhanan mo ng related literature, so on and so forth. Ito, if you have the resources and you have the means to gather data, pa, pwede mo na siyang gawin. Ano? Talagang gusto mo lang malaman. Ano? You, you really have as, um, uh, what do you call this? an honest question na gusto mo talagang makakuha ng um, answer. 
Okay. Para kang detective, ano? Gusto mong malaman yung sagot. Okay? So, kagaya niya, no? Malthus, uh, Malthusian theory of population gave rise to the optimum theory in pop of population. So, ito, no, si Malthusian, no? So, si uh, Thomas Malthus. Siya ang nag, uh, unang nag-research na there is, there should be an optimum number of population, no? Meron nga sa US, eh, na, nakalimutan ko lang yung exact name ng parang um, shrine yata yun, eh, no? Meron dong bato, tap, tatlong tatlong slab, tapos nakalagay dun sa slab, parang um, mathematical um, combinations, ano? Tapos, bottom line dun is that ang population dapat sa mundo ay ganitong number lang. Uh, tapos walang nakakaalam kung anong kung sino gumawa noon, no? Up until today hindi nila alam kung sino daw yung naglagay noon. May mga theories kung saan nanggaling yung three slabs of stone na yun. Hanapin ko yun tapos ilagay ko doon sa Google Classroom natin. Ano. But uh, overall, meron silang computation na dapat ganito lang karami ang tao sa mundo. Because yung resources na available sasapat lang para dun sa ganung karaming tao. Ngayon, pagka nag-exceed tayo dun, which is ngayon, tayo ay exceeding na talaga. Or have exceeded already. Merong inequality, no? Kaya maraming tao mahirap, walang pera, walang pangkain, ano? There are countries in the world world na extreme pro poverty. Africa, Somalia, others, no? Na talagang hindi pati pagkain nila sa bawat araw problema pa nila no tapos uh, walang matinong healthcare pa kaya pagka nagkasakit mamamatay ka na talaga eh diretso na yun ano so yan so according to him no at this point it's already crisis kasi ito lang yung resources na available natin eh eh yung population pagka umabot ng ganyan hindi na masusuportahan ng resources okay so yan, example yan ng peer research yung ginawa ni Thomas Malthus. No? Um, next, we have applied research carried out to find out solutions to real-life problems which requires an action or a policy decision. No, it is thus policy-oriented. Okay. So ito yung practical, no? applied research. No? For example, yan, marketing research sa isang company, meron silang problem. May problem yung packaging nila. Anong gagawin nila? Gagawa sila ng marketing research. Magsasurvey sila sa mga tao. Develop silang prototype. Tapos they would ask feedback. Pagka kung ano yung nagustuhan ng karamihan, yun na yung ilo-launch nila as the new um, new product. No? Parang uh, kagaya na nangyari sa ano, new Coke tsaka old Coke. No? Gusto nila... Akala, nag-conduct sila ng survey, marketing research, akala nila gusto ng tao ng bagong lasa. But it turns out, no, nung nilabas nila yon nagkaroon ng backlash, ang gusto ng tao, yung dating coke. No? Kasi yung tao, ayaw niyang iwanan yung nakasanayan niya. Eh, no? Yun yung basic human, ano yan eh, um, basic uh, human psychology. No? Kung ano yung kinasanayan niya, doon na talaga siya. Okay? Ayaw niya mag-try ng mga bago. So, ganun. Example yun ng applied research. No? Policy-oriented. So, bakit ang China? Gumawa silang two-child policy. Okay? I don't know kung binabaan pa nila yan ngayon. It's because of the overpopulation. No? So, applied yun. Meron silang research, gawa sila ng policy. Okay? So, yan. We also have exploratory research, no? also called formulative study, such as study conducted to gain familiarity of a phenomenon. It is a preliminary study of an unfamiliar problem. So you are exploring. Pag sinabi mong exploring, parang exploring a cave, unexplored pa, hindi, wala pa, hindi pa siya, uh, hindi natin alam. Venture to the unknown, ano, sabi nga nila. Example, a doctor doing initial investigation of a patient. No? 
for getting some clues for identifying his ailment. No? So bakit naging zombie ang uh, ang hari? No? Bakit naging zombie ang king? So it turns out ginamitan pala siya ng resurrection plant. <laughs> so may example lang yan. Ano? So, mas applicable siya for uh, medicine, ano? exploratory research. So, you are exploring something. Yan, kagaya niya, yun sa COVID niya, no? you are exploring something uh, different, uncharted territory. Okay? And whatever we are doing, these are preliminary. No? Kaya nga, marami pang lumalabas eh, na ah, pag meron pa palang variants, no? who knows, next year, baka may bago na namang variant. Di ba? Di natin alam. Ano? Wala, tayong, um, wala tayong idea, to be quite honest. No? We are all in the same boat na we are venturing it together na wala tayong alam pare-pareho. No? So, yan. Descriptive research, ito yung common and ito yung gagawin ninyo. No? Ito yung um, fact-finding mission. Okay? So, yun yung ginagawa natin. Students, teachers, we find facts. No? We research for, yan, we research for literatures, we research for studies na ginawa sa iba't ibang lugar, sa iba't ibang pamamaraan, okay? And then pinagsasama natin siya into one full-blown research. Yan. Laying down the characteristics of any group, situation, or an individual. Mara may nakita kang research about poverty uh, uh, in China. Inadapt mo yun, no? ginawa mo siya poverty in San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. So yan, descriptive na yun, ano? You gathered facts, pinagsama-sama mo, and then you did your own survey. No? So, yan. More specific than exploratory study. So, mas specific siya kasi, again, you have the structure. Eh, no? Simple, but more specific. Okay, you have the structure, you have all the facts, pinagsama-sama mo. So, example, school doing comparative performance of its students. So, yan. Um, sino ang mas maganda uh, performance? Is it the high school, senior high school, or junior high school? Ay, mga ganun, ano? So, yun. Historical research is a study based on past records. So, ito, uh, karamihan yan. Pag, if you are a historian, o di kaya yung mga nag-aaral ng major in history, na a wife ko is major in history, so yan, magan meron siyang uh, no, nakaraan na parang uh, nag-participate sila dun sa study ng yung origins, yung mga ninuno netong um, San Jose del Monte, Bulacan, San, Sapang Pala, yung mga first tenants. No? Sino-sino ba yun? They, they have mapped out. No? And then, paano ba yung um, settlement dito? Kasi di ba, alam naman natin, sa uh, majority of San Jose del Monte, Bulacan is resettlement. Galing sa iba't ibang lugar, nilagay dito. No? So, yan. So, past records, based on beliefs, the past contains key to the present. So, yun na, you know, if you want to understand the present and have an idea about the future, you study the past. One moment. Okay. Now, next we have diagnostic research. Okay, Similar to descriptive research, but it is focused towards discovering the frequency with which something occurs and to find out why does it occur. It aims at identifying cause of a problem. No? So, ang inaalam mo naman dito, cause. Okay? Um, and then, frequency. Yan yung keyword, ano? frequency, gaano kadalas. Okay? So, for example, how likely are men to speak at meetings? So, alam naman natin, pag lalaki, medyo tahimik, no? Pagka tinanong, di ba, ang ano nga eh, ang uh, psychology of a man and a woman, pagka nagkakaroon ng arguments, di ba, ang babae, gusto niya, 
alamin lahat ng kaliit-liitan na details, no, yung information. Nasaan ka ng gabi, ng Tuesday, 10 p.m., noong October, ganito, anong ginawa mo? Mga ganun, no? Pero ang lalaki, what, how does the man respond? Sasabihin lang niya, hindi ko alam, o di kaya, would flee the conversation. No? Aalis siya sa conversation. Kasi ano yan eh, psychology of a, a man and a woman. Ano? So, but here, you are trying to check the frequency. So, you might be serving a couple of people or a number of people. And then, how likely are they to speak at meetings? Okay? So, basta pag-diagnostic research, you are talking of the frequency. Gaano kadami. Alright? Evaluation study. As a type of applied research made for assessing the effectiveness of various planned or implemented social or economic programs. So, yan, no? Chinecheck mo. Effective ba yung family planning? Gumagana ba yung family planning system natin sa Philippines? Yan, maganda pag-aralan yan, eh. Kasi, di ba, sa mga barangay, meron sila yung mga, nagbibigay sila ng mga libreng contraceptives, uh, seminars, no? Pero bakit lumulobo pa rin ang population or mas madami pa rin ang sorry for the term ano batang ina bata pa lang nabubuntis na no Well there's nothing wrong with that if you can support it pero the problem is if you are in the sector of poverty to extreme poverty hindi siya ideal di ba much better kung ma-plan mo kung kailan ka magkakaanak Right, So, yan, maganda yan. Effective ba? Adult literacy, is it effective? Okay. Yung midday meal for students yan, di ba? Dati nga, pag mga panahon namin, ano, Nutriban. <laughs> Papasok sa school, papakainin ka pa, no? Midday, bibigyan kang gatas, bigyan kang tinapay. Kasi parang they are trying to um, uh, associate it with uh, cognitive functions eh. Kapag ka busog ka, mas marami kang matututunan. Pag gutom ka, pag pansit kanton lang kinain mo, yun lang din laman ng utak mo. No? Pansit kanton lang. Wala kang, well, hindi mo alam eh. No? I'm just kidding. Ano? Pero, yan, example yan ng mga programs ginagawa sa school. No? Inabot, inabot ko pa yan. Ano? Um, to assess the impact of developmental projects. No? Yan, maganda rin pag-aralan yan. In Alam nyo ba na maraming projects sa atin ang abandoned na sa Philippines. Ngayon gumawa ng isang ano, um, gumawa ng isang um, what do you call this? Airport, no? Tapos hindi tinuloy. Or gumawa ng isang um, railway system, tapos hindi tinuloy, no? Bakit ganon? Kasi in developmental project natin, oh, bataan nuclear power plant. Ba ba bakit ganon? Bakit kaya ganon? Ano? Kasi yung mga projects, uh, ang kom eto no, uh, this is also linked to our ano, culture. Ang Pilipino kasi na pol politician, ayaw niya yung projects na gawa no nakaraan. No, parang ano yan eh, parang Hindi yun yung brand ko. O yan, yung city hall. Ayan, magda tayo lumayo. Yung city hall ng Karyapay. Diba? So, ganun, ano? Dito ka lang makakakita sa Pilipinas ng tatlong railway system pero magkakaiba-iba ng biga. No? Uh, uh, what do I mean by that? Iba-iba yung size ng kanyang track. Iba yung size ng track ng LRT1. Iba yung size ng track ng LRT2. Iba yung size ng track ng M... Uh, MRT. ba? Bakit ganon? Eh kung may long-term planning yan, dapat you will be able to connect the track itself. Yung mismong track ang i-connect mo. Hindi yung, ay hindi, na-connect namin yan. Ginawa namin ng mga bridges. No? Magkadugtong sa recto, LRT, tsaka ano. Hindi, pero hindi magkadugtong yung rails. Alright. Sa Japan, hindi ganon eh. At saka sa ibang bansa. Sa Japan, yung railway system nila, isa lang. 
makakarating ka dulo-dulo ng Japan, isang train lang. No? So see, example yan ng development projects eh, na hindi, walang continuity. No? Kasi nga, ang culture natin dito, pag nagpalit ng administration, ah, okay, ibang kulay yan, papalitan ko yan, ako na yan. Up, okay, ako naman ang upo. Lahat ng project na yan, scrap. Ayan, di ba? Um, I understand yung sa Karyapay kasi ang, uh, the case is that or there is a, uh, uh, still a case. So pag may case, hindi mo pa pwedeng galawin. No? Yun yung ano natin, eh, sistema natin. No? Kaya nga lang ang problema, yung case, sobrang tagal. So yung building na hindi na nagagamit, hindi na may maintain, nasisira. Diba? Yan. E ano bang ginamit doon? Taxes nating lahat yun eh. Yung ginamit para mapatayo yun. Ano? Tapos hindi na you utilize. Diba? So yan. Kaya nga ano eh, no? Mer nung nag-aaral pa ako noon sa graduate school, isabi ng professor ko, dapat ang terms daw dito uh, mahaba. No? Yan yung every six years palit ng palit. Kasi ang kultura ng Pilipino, kada palit, scrap lahat ng ginawa noon, palitan ng bago. So parang every six years, alam mo yun, nagre-refresh tayo ng nagre-refresh instead of continuing kung ano yung mga nagawa na noon. Dudugtungan na lang natin ng dudugtungan. No? Yan, kaya nga yung ano natin eh. Um, Diyan mo, yung eto ngayon, nakita ko, na-observe ko no, when I went to... Uh, bayan nito nakaraan. Tinasa na ng Meral ko yung mga ano nila, yung poste nila, yung sobrang taas. Kasi yung, ang pangit tingnan eh, yung medyo mga mabababang poste, tapos sala sa labat yung mga wire, naabot pa siya ng puno, nagiging hazard lang, ano? Pag natamaan ng nabaling sangan, yan, brown out, walang internet, ganun, ano? Eh kung yung planning matagal, na na project sana yung mga ganung bagay eh no? Sa ibang bansa, no? Yung mga roads nila, sobrang tibay, sobrang kapal, ano, hindi yung kada pa, palitan ng ano, um, kada palitan ng official bakbak, no? Tapos lalagyan ng mukha niya dun sa ano, sa kalsada, siya nagpagawa, hindi ba? Yan. Nino punta nga ako ng Australia, wala wala akong makita sa inikot ko doon sa tatlong araw, wala akong nakita na road construction, road widening, hindi. Walang traffic, hindi nag-exist sa kanila yung traffic. Eh kasi matagal lang planning talaga nila eh. Kaya yung mga kalsada hindi substandard. It will last generations and generations, ano. Eh dito sa tagal-tagal niyo ng buhay ninyo ang dami nyo na nakita mga binabakbak na kalsada eh. So, ibig sabihin, yung ginagawang kalsada, good for a year or two lang. Tapos, kakal babaklasin na naman siya. No? So, yan. So, yan. Example, evaluating the K-12 program, was it effective? No? Or no? Yan. Example yan ng evaluation study. Maganda rin sa economic yan, yung uh, economics yung evaluation study. Ang challenge nyo lang kung yan ang ipipiliin ninyo if is if you can get data. Right? But if you have access to data, maganda maganda yan ano. And then finally, we have uh, experimental research tries to assess the effect of one particular variable of a set of variables on a phenomenon. No? Example, test the hypothesis of causal relationship between variables cause and effect. And then, survey. Survey, very basic lang. No? You will just conduct the survey, baseline data, fact-finding, method of research which involves collection of data directly from the individuals, either from the entire group. Okay. So, yan. Survey shows that majority of teachers doubt the effectiveness of distance learning. Yan. Example yan. Yan, yung kagaya niya, election ngayon, may mga sari-sarili silang survey na si ganitong candidate ang namumuno, si ganitong candidate ang yamado sa ganitong lugar, so on and so forth. Surveys yun, ano? Local surveys. Kaya nga, ano eh, uh, ang BSU nagpaplano na rin magkaroon ng limited face-to-face. -face. Sayang hindi nyo na maaabutan, ano? 
Kasi sa limited face-to-face, I don't know if it's going to be implemented next semester or next year. Pero ang mauunang programs would be hospitality management, IT, yung may mga laboratory na subject na. Kasi ang, wala nun sa bahay eh, na yung mga laboratory, hindi, hindi nila afford bumili ng mga ganung uh, equipment. At syempre, kailangan pa ng pag-aaral yan kasi yung students ba vaccinated na, baka mamaya hindi pa, di ba? Oo nga eh, sayang eh. Nakailang taon lang kayo na face-to-face tapos ano, uh, kailangan nyo ng lab. <laughs> okay. So, yan. Okay. Sana, sana, no? Hindi uh, na, ano natin, ano? Okay. So, ito, no, maraming research topics, no? Ito, examples lang to. I'm not saying na ito, na, dito lang kayo mag-concentrate, ano? Examples lang yun ng mga topics na pwede ninyong pag-aralan that are related to economics. Okay? And, kasi ang gagawin natin ganito, no? So, uh, I have checked the population of the class. Nasa 